Have you ever used Ctrl E before in Microsoft Excel? What we usually use are the common shortcut keys, such as Ctrl C for copy, Ctrl V for paste, Ctrl X for cut and so on. But not Ctrl E. In this tutorial, I will show you how powerful Ctrl E is. So stay tuned. Number 1 Tip. Unconcatenate. First, I will show you how to unconcatenate a list of names in column A using Ctrl E. Then, I will be typing the first name. Then the last name. Email. And gender. After finishing the first row, I will put my active cell below the name of the first name that I have typed in. Then I will just press Ctrl E. And boom, all the first name are now typed in automatically. How cool is that? Then I will just put the active cell just below the last name and press Ctrl E. Email and press Ctrl E. And the last is gender then pressing Ctrl E. We will now go on the next tip. The next tip is to combine cells to create a date. Here you can see the list of years, months, and days columns. In the date column, I will type in the date format that I want. Let's say, I wanted it to be month, day, and year. Then after that, just below the date that I have typed in, I will just press Ctrl E. And whoa, did you see that? We will now move on to the next tip. Ctrl E is not just combining two or more columns. You can also insert a column to your sentence. In this tip I will show you how to add text to cells. Now I will put my active cell in B4. Then I will type the my sentence like this. Hi, then Tina. From cell A4. Then I will continue to compose my sentence. How are you today? Just below my compost sentence. I will press Ctrl E. And bam! All the names are now inserted to my sentence. Let me know in the comments section below. If you have anything to share some other tricks using Ctrl E. Now let's move on to another tip. In this tip, I will show you how to add space using Ctrl E. You can see here. The list of article numbers that includes year. In this case, you wanted to put space between article number and year. To do that, I will key in the article number. Then space. Then year. Then go to the next line and press Ctrl E. Easy pissy. Now let's move on. And don't forget to like this tutorial and subscribe to this channel. In this tip, I will be adding bracket to the data. Since the data is not organized and you wanted to highlight the group, we will enclose the group using brackets. To do that, I will key in the name. Then open bracket. Group B. Close bracket then hit the enter key. On the next line I will hit Ctrl E. And boom. Great huh. The next tip is how to retrieve data from cells. In this example, I have copied the data from previous tutorial. And we wanted to get the year from the article which is the last four digit. Now, we will type only the year and press the enter key. On the next line, I will press Ctrl E. So easy, right? If you have any questions, you can leave a comment below. Let's move on to the next tip. This is the last tip that I'm going to show you using Ctrl E. This time I will reorder the data on column A. It shows first name followed by a last name. What we are going to do is to make it last name first, then comma, then first name. Then we will press Ctrl E on the next line. 
Awesome. Now this ends my tutorial. Thank you for watching, and I hope you learn from the simple tips. Bye and see you on my next tutorial.